Hi guys, hello, 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 it's your girl Amanda again, welcome to the Funky channel, welcome, 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 I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers, to everyone who left uh, me those beautiful comments on my last video that I did, if you haven't seen it, please go and watch it watch it and leave your comments your comments are very important um i want to read your comments and be able to reply to them thank you so much for liking the video and thank you so much for sharing and thank you again to all my customers from the funky um all my customers that buy my funky sauce If you don't know about the sauce, please head over to the website, which is funkyveg.com. Have a look. We sell natural sauces made from 100% vegetables. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today I'm going to be making uh, a homemade lasagna. And as you can see on the chopping board, I've got 500 grams of minced meat. Um, yeah, so watch me cook and also look out for the rest of the ingredients. On here, I've got two large onions, which is the white ones, and four medium-sized shallots. I've got three large carrots in there. As you can see, you can't make lasagna without adding carrots to it. I've also got three large parsnips. I like parsnips because it gives it that sweet and that's like a unique smell. Yeah, so I thought I'll add some parsnips to it. I've got a tin of chopped tomatoes. Now you can get your tomatoes from anywhere. I got this from my local shop. I've got half a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of white pepper. A teaspoon of garlic, powdered garlic, and I've got three medium size of scotch bonnet. I like my, I like my lasagna a bit hot. I've got a tablespoon and a, and a half of vegetable powder. Yeah, a tablespoon and a half of vegetable powder. Now all of you know how I feel about thyme. I love my thyme, so this is half a teaspoon of thyme. I've got half a teaspoon of coriander. As you can see on the chopping board, I've got my pasta sheet, which is this. You can get that from any of your local shops. And also I've got garlic puree and tomato puree. So we're gonna start cooking. Right guys, I've preheated my pan. And now I'm gonna be adding some vegetable cooking oil. Uh, to the pan, which would be about three tablespoons. I'm going to leave this to heat up for one minute and then I'm going to add the onions to it. Okay, I'm going to start by adding the onions. So I'm just going to give this a stir and leave it to infuse for like a minute or two. Right, so this has been in there for one minute. I'm just gonna add our chopped tomatoes to that now. And I'm gonna leave this to cook at least two to three minutes. Hey, hey yeah, guys. Yes, so I left it to cook for two minutes. Now we're going to add the beef and add all those ingredients that I mentioned at the beginning. So we're going to add our minced meat to the mix. Yeah. Just like that. We just mash it up a bit. Um, sorry guys, I forgot to mention that I'm going to be adding some other kind of like um, seasoning which is Maggie. Adding two of that, I just thought I'll mention it now. I've added two of that and two no as well, as you can see. No, two of them. Yeah, all the, the, the ingredients that I mentioned at the beginning, we're going to just add all of that to it. 
so in the meantime guys i really love you to leave me some comments you know leave me comments in the comment section also share this video don't forget to like as well and don't forget to let me know what you like me to make in my next video it's always important you know i'm always here for you guys i always have time for like my viewers um because funky veg funky veg is gonna grow so we need to keep the momentum going right so i'm gonna add a tablespoon of the garlic puree and also two tablespoons worth of the tomato puree put to the mix and we're gonna give this a stir stir it all together and just leave this to cook for seven to eight minutes so guys this has been cooking for six minutes I thought I'll just put the carrots in it for one minute and the parsnips so they all cook together before we pop it in the oven yeah I'm just gonna give this a stir mmm it smells really nice it smells yummy let me know what you lot have for dinner as well and if you'd like to make what I made or you'd like me to make something else just let me know your comments really matters to me and remember to subscribe thank you for all my new subscribers we did get a few subscribers so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I'm so happy that we're growing you know slowly but surely we'll win the race we're almost not beauty in a day so I thank you for all my subscribers and I thank you for all those people who are really encouraging me to you know to do well and promote the business and promote the YouTube channel as well as you know it's not easy but I'm gonna keep going because you lot are encouraging me to do so so stay tuned we're gonna leave that for another two minutes Right, this has been cooking for at least eight minutes. I'm just gonna give it a stir and see. Yeah, I think it's okay because we're gonna put it in the oven. So this is ready now. So stay tuned. I'm gonna make the white sauce and see how that goes. So I'm gonna start by making, by adding, sorry, the milk to the pan so this is the white sauce that goes on top of the lasagna I'm gonna add a cup and a half of milk and to that I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of butter you always need butter for white sauce just gonna add about a tablespoon Just leave that to melt down on a very low heat. Now you can't cook white sauce on a high heat, it has to be very low. Um, yeah, so we're gonna leave that to heat up for one minute and then I'll come back. Just about a pinch. And then I'm gonna add black pepper. About a pinch as well. that is there we'll leave this for half a minute and come back right I'm gonna start by adding the flour and I'm gonna add, start with a tablespoon and just add that slowly and just mix keep your eyes on it don't take your eyes off this white sauce keep mushing it might get a bit lumpy but it's okay it's okay because remember we're gonna put cheese on top of it but make sure you don't you try to get as rid of as many lumps as possible 
Right guys, so this is the white sauce. As you can see, um, it's ready, but I do have a bit of lumps in there. So I'm gonna strain it through the strainer and then I'm gonna start laying the um, lasagna to go in the oven. So stay tuned. So guys, we're gonna start with the pasta sheet. And what we have to do is I've just boiled my water. So carefully pour that into a bowl. I'm gonna pour it into this now like that and this is our pasta sheet we just take one at a time and place it in there if you've got a bigger bowl you can do two at a time but I want to use one at a time and just leave it in there for like a minute or half a minute at a time and then when I start assembling it we'll, I'll come back to you Right, so I decided to um, put it in these metal um, things so I can do two at a time just to save time and this one was the first one that I put in so you've got to be careful, be really careful um, because the water's hot the water's hot so I'm just going to lift this up with that and lift this up with this yeah it's still hard you need it to be a bit soft before you could start assembling your lasagna so I'm gonna push this to the side put, put this to the side put this down like that and what we need to do is that we I've oiled this pan um, with some vegetable cooking oil and just take a handful or two and just spread it out evenly at the bottom like so yeah spread it out like so and then push that to the side so it doesn't get in our way and then I'm gonna Take the pasta sheet as you can see this one's ready and I'm gonna place it on mix like so take the other one and place it on the other side like so and I'm just gonna assemble it all the way to the top till the pan's filled up and then I'll show you the finish uh, product at the end um, I just want to let you know that what I did next is more of your mince meat on top of your pasta sheet and do that all the way to the top make making sure all the pasta sheets are covered don't leave it uncovered because you just end up getting dry once it's gone in the oven so guys I'm putting in the second layer of the pasta sheets and as you can see I had to um, break the corners a bit for it to fit in so um, we don't have any pasta sheets sticking out and uncooked as well so I'm gonna do the same with this on each side and just place it in like so this is my first time of making this I've never ever 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 made pasta so I think I'm, I'm doing good I'm proud of myself Ruth is giving me a thumbs up, my daughter. So what we have to do is just spread it out. Remember to spread, spread, spread. Um, yeah, remember to spread. This is looking really yummy and juicy. And then I'm gonna be putting another layer in my pasta sheets so stay tuned so guys this is the final layer of the lasagna I'm just gonna add the sheets again breaking off the sides remember to do so if you're using a pan like this and just place it down like so on each side and 
ends off. So it fits in properly. Like so. smells divine and it tastes delicious as well and if you have any leftovers like if you have any leftovers of your uh, lasagna mix you can have you can boil rice or have it with like bread or you know you can have it with anything if you if you're a yam eater you can have it with yam you can have it with pasta you know you don't have to throw it away. You can have it with anything that you like, even vegetables. It goes with anything. Um, this is the white sauce. Sorry, I didn't. I couldn't show you at the time. When I made it, it was a little bit lumpy, so I had to. I had to strain it a bit to get rid of some of the lumps. And I'm gonna place that on top now. Slowly spreading it on top. I just hope that we have enough. Don't worry if you get some of the the potato and the you know the potato mix in it. It's part of it anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, and to this, I'm gonna be adding my cheese. This cheese is uh, matcha cheddar cheese. It depends on what cheese you like, but I like the matcha ones. If I'm gonna have cheese, I might as well just have proper, proper cheese. So I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over, like so. So now my oven's heating. I'm gonna pop this in the oven for at least 20 to 25 minutes. And I'll show you the finished product. So stay tuned and thank you so much guys for watching thank you for subscribing again thank you for sharing thank you for all your comments thank you for supporting me thank you for all the all my customers as well um stay blessed and remember that 2021 is a good year let's just thank god and believe him for everything because he's the only one that can give us the happiness that we're looking for so stay tuned everyone bye